you know, still have some kind of resentment or hate or they all, you know, resentment and hate, uh, unforgiveness and stuff, they all cousins and brothers of the same uh, 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 of, the, of, of, of the same tree, you know what I'm saying? It just all depends what you're picking. So, when it comes to that, like, you gotta let people go so you can be free. Like, at the end of the day, why are you holding on to some, because cause cause why are you holding on to something and, and we hold on to a lot of things that people, other people, that we hold on to something that people don't even care about. And, you know, and, you know, like my quote of the day is, is, uh, when you hold on to a grudge, that's you drinking the poison, expecting the other person to die. You know what I mean? And we can't have that. You can't do that. That's not, that's not part of the plan. Man, that's not part of God. Man, that's not part. Of, that's not part of God's plan. You know what I'm saying? And that just gets away of what you're trying to do. Cause in it, cause the, cause the time that you are focusing on, you know what I'm saying, the past negative is the is the time you're taking away from the, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying for the, you know what I'm saying for the put, you know what I'm saying for the, for the pluses in your life. And sometimes the hardest thing that you got to do is let go of family. And me, I'm a type of person that I'm a type of person like if I let like like if I let like if we and have a relationship or type of relationship, a mother, father, you know, brother, sister, you know, what I'm saying whatever came to me, relationship, whatever. If I let that say like if I let you go. I let everybody go who associate with you. So, like, for example, so, like, if I let my father go, and I have, shout out to Star uh, uh, Pepperton. I said that wrong, but I'm good with the flow. How you doing? Uh, welcome to the Real World J Podcast Show. I'm your host, Full Circle J. I call it J. And uh, this is the, uh, our podcast. I'm good. How about you? Uh, uh, how are you today? Good. Been good. Bless. Um, this is a topic, you know what I mean, by letting go. So I feel good to that because I feel refreshed. I feel, you know what I'm saying? I feel vindicated. I feel like I've been drinking a poison for so long. I expect the other person to feel the effect. Hmm. But you be day. Great. It's your, great. It's your be day. Man, pre, man, love, love, love. Uh oh, I ain't want to do that. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. And yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I, I was just trying to show you some hearts, but I don't even know how to do that. I, I was going to throw you some hearts. Uh, how you do that? I don't know how you throw hearts, but I was going to throw hearts. But yeah, thank you. Thank you for throwing the hearts. I was going to throw hearts to you, but I don't know how to do it. Trust me. I don't know how to do it. I'm not being funny because can you see I tried. And so, so hearts to you. Uh, God bless you. Uh, God bless you. And, uh, and I'm, 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 man, I appreciate you for rocking with me, you know what I'm saying, on your birthday. You know what I'm saying? Like I appreciate that because, uh, yeah, not a problem because I could this because this probably hit like hit home from a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Like dealing with relationships, dealing with family. I'm talking about like top of the line family, like your father, your mother, your sister. You know what I mean? Like just because they family, like I appreciate you, appreciate you. Just because they family don't mean they don't supposed to, they don't supposed to hurt you. And that's the mystical screw the that that that's that's kind of like who view oh we family so you know so you expect like people from the outside to hurt you more than than you expect family to hurt you, but it's it's the end of the day, family go outside, <laughs> just like the people to go inside, and um, family usually hurt people because they know they can like get away with it, that eventually that's gonna be okay. And that's and 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 that's an ass back. That's an ass back way to think about someone that you love. Oh yeah, I can do whatever, but that'd be alright because we family, and it's gonna be alright. Eventually, we'll talk again. Eventually, it'll be, be cool again. That don't work with me because I feel like it's worse. Because because I feel like I'm a, I I I feel like if family if family do you wrong, I feel like they treated you just like somebody off the street. 
So I'm gonna treat you like I'm gonna treat you like somebody off the street. Because end of the day, if your like if your mama a thief, I understand. You know, saying you love your mama, you, you know, saying and, and, and you know, saying she is, she is. But at the end of the day, you gotta treat like a thief too. Because how dare you uh, uh, leave your leave your purse or your wallet on the counter? And she stole it twice, and so the third time you, and so so the third so the third time or the first time you gonna act like that was just like a fluke. Now it's a you know what I'm saying you can you know what I'm saying in the day you can love people from a distance. Especially if they were distant. Especially if they've been been distant. You know what I mean? Like in the day like you know the hardest thing? You know what the hardest thing for a lot of people is letting go people who don't care about them. And they actually don't got that they, they, they actually show you every day. They show you every day. And you just say, and, and then you know what like one of the biggest things that we say? That you know that um they are who they are. I get that. Everybody are who they are. Don't mean you gotta accept it. It don't mean you gotta accept that in your life. Why would you accept something that you hate? Why would you say something that makes you feel bad? Why would you why would you accept something that you know what I'm saying that you know what I'm saying that affects you and 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 eventually may spill out? That's ever having that's you know what I'm saying? That's letting somebody have too much power over you that don't even care about you. Basically like if you, you you let somebody have power over you and they don't even know you. Like you literally giving somebody power on the street that you just met on the first day. So we that's crazy. That's not crazy, right? But that's what we do every day. Because at the end of the day, if you live through people you know, opinions, then I mean, you're not really, you, you're not living your life. You, you're just living through other people's opinions. And there's no fun in that. There's no peace in that. Because you're worried about what they're thinking and not about work, and not worried about what you're thinking. And it's okay to do that. It's okay to do that. And, and just a few things in life. Because you can't care if someone else, if someone else don't care. Like you can't make nobody love you. You can't make somebody love you. If you make somebody love you, it's with conditions. Conditions. And then that's not real love. That just that just someone that got you, you know what I'm saying? That just somebody that somebody that just got you, you know what I'm saying, where they want you. Because that's that that's not unconditional love. You know, unconditional love is caring. You know, like letting people go is one of the hardest things to do. But one of the hard, so sometimes, the, sometimes the easiest thing to do, and sometimes the hardest thing to do, but the most gratifying thing to do, especially when you need it, and you have to have it. Like today, I had to, like you know, it's the real world J podcast show. So you know what I mean. Like I had to just cut out a piece of my family that you know. What I'm saying at the end of the day, was not good for me or for my family, and that's the choice that I made for my family. And I think that's one of the best. Choices is bold, bolded and one one of the most bold and one of the most big choices I've ever made. Like I'm free, I'm good now. I can talk about it, and that's how you know you're free and you and, and you know that you really let something go if you can talk about it out loud. You know, um, yeah, you know that you know saying and then. Like letting something go is not going back to the same place that the crime happened. You know, it's just not. 
Um, because that's a place that the crime happened and you expect to solve the answers and try to get answers but the answers is, uh, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes you don't need answers to, you know what I'm saying, to a toxic relationship. It's been there, you've been watching it and you've been going through it and you've been seeing it the whole time. So. So why? So why go back to it? That's like going to a grave site and just laying there and expecting, you know what I'm saying, and expecting something to come back alive. It's just not going to happen. That's not what you, you know what I'm saying? That's not what you're supposed to do. If you go, if you go back there, you go back there to clean up any damage that you caused with that. So sometimes when we, when we people, we're part of that problem, or we become the part of the problem, or we are the problem, then other people are. So when you, if you do have to go back, backwards to go forward, go back to clean up. Don't go, don't go back to sit there and play and reminisce on what pain and hurt and misery. You know what's you know many you know many you know many things that you could be doing besides doing that. Anything else? And anything anything with a positive? You can't expect to have. Good things happen in your life if you don't have good people in your life. You know? At the end of the day, you can't expect to have good people in your life if you don't have good people in your life. And sometimes we gotta sit back from afar to see things clear. To, you know what I'm saying, to examine, to see, you know, like, Okay, is this working? And this not working. Okay, why is this making this so much noise and it's not doing anything? Oh, oh, well, this is the reason why the fucking car is not working. And that won't be the hardest thing. And that may be the piece that does a lot of things for you, but doesn't do the main thing for you is to go down the street. It doesn't help you get on the highway, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, a life. Or the, or the life you want, or the life you desire. Like, people get, in their, people get in your way because they don't have a plan. They don't have a plan for you. And then, if you with somebody that doesn't have a plan for you, then you're just going in a circle. And you wonder why you're tired. Because you're going in a circle. You don't get tired going straight and you see the light. That, that just, I will just... Keep going, keep going, motivation, keep going, keep going. That's what you want in your life. Those kind of people you need in your life. You let new people go who are not, not, not in your life. And let someone go who that is that doesn't encourage you. Doesn't and encourage you and you know what I'm saying and, and just not I ain't saying everything, but it, 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 like many facets of life. Because if they and that and that's supposed to be so entwined and so in, into you, then you know what I mean. They, you know what I mean. They into you, so they, they, you know what I'm saying. Anything you, you, you know, what I'm anything you excited about, they happy about. Anything you're interested in, they may be interested in. Or they, you know what I'm saying. At least they'll work. You know what I mean. At least they'll work. Because awareness is curtness. Like, like, like me, like people just want, like, usually people just want you to just accept them for or, and that's not really okay because if you just accept them for who they are, then it's no, it's just no room for, it's no, it's, it's no room for growth on both sides. Because you can be like, well, they are who they are, so you're not going to try. And then they're not going to try because they are who they are. How does that make sense? That's not a, that's a horrible relationship. That's not that you want to be with. With mothers, fathers, you know what I'm saying? Anything, anybody. Like, anybody can get that. Spoke. 